my YouTube channel. It's your girl Took Fly Boss. Yes, yes, yes. If today's your first time seeing this face, I really appreciate it. If you want to go right ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also, bosses, do not forget to turn that notification button on. Bosses, join the boss squad. I want you on my team. So if you're seeing this video, make sure to subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I received this hair from Reshawn Hair, and we're pretty much doing the bald headed cap method. I not really do the bald headed cap method, but I really haven't really done it in detail on my YouTube channel. So I decided to do it in detail for you bosses. I know you bosses are gonna love it. Look it, my hair, bosses, and don't move. My hair, and don't move. So yeah, if you wanna see how I did the bald headed cap method, you definitely gotta keep on watching the video, bosses. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it. Tomorrow no promise, so me no turn on me heart Man live without limit Man in it, do in it Live without limit Yeah, yeah, yeah Hey bosses, welcome to my YouTube channel It's your girl Talks Like Boss We're working with Rishon here today So this is what Rishon here sent me in the box They literally sent me some 3D mink lashes Some wig stocking cat bosses Which I won't be using in this video But I will show you what I'll be using and they also sent you a nice brochure. Thanks, Rishon Hair. And the most exciting thing about Rishon Hair that I noticed was the fact that they actually listed like products in their brochure that you can use to wash your hair and you know just to take care of the hair. Just in case you bosses don't know how to do that, you can definitely, definitely do it. So, which is really cool. And also, bosses, I did receive a 26 inches straight 180 percent density hair this is actually a burgundy lace front wig and this is a 13 by 4 just in case you bosses did not know that this hair looks amazing and i really really like it and i know you bosses will like it too the most amazing part about this hair bosses that i come to realize was the simple fact that Rishon hair actually pre-plugged this unit for me which made me so so happy and excited to to just rock this hair like look at that pre-plugged situation there like i was like wow i really barely like to do a lot of work on my youtube channel so they must know who i am they must really bang with me like that because i don't like to do extra work bosses the hair smells so good didn't have much shedding as you can see my five finger right there and yeah bosses the unit um the lace was pretty white and because i did not get a chance to bleach the knots i went in with my foundation shade and just pretty much tint out that lace inner parts right there and that's basically what i did to get the unit started how i would love to wear it okay bosses so this pretty much begin the process you want to go ahead and spritz the inner part of the cap the wig cap and then go in with the blow dryer and yeah pretty much that's it so the cap that i'm using in this video today was given to me by this amazon company which is really dope and if you like the cap that i'm using in this video today all you gotta do is check out the description below that cap will be listed down this is the cap that i use because i feel as though this was better when i'm doing the bald headed cap method all right bosses feel free to check out the description to get that cap so yeah i'm just using the got to be to gel to lay down my edges once i feel like my edges is laid down flat what i normally like to do is i just go in with the got to be spray and just spray that down once it's sprayed down oh bosses that thing was getting in my eye i swear to god i'm not going to lie to y'all it was death getting in my eye it's a process to do the bald headed cap method but it's definitely worth it and it definitely makes your hair looks uh, amazing so yeah bosses just blowing drying that making sure that it's well blow dried i'll go ahead and just cut the ear part and then just pull my ear out you don't want to make that cut too big you just want to light over it because you guys know or should i say you bosses know that these stocking caps they can fray out sometimes like right there see it so yeah you just want to take your time with the stocking cap they always get messed up for some reason but this cap is definitely the go-to cap for your ball headed method if you're thinking about doing that 
I say go for it because I really love what it did there. So yeah, I'm just going to cut the cap, you know, cutting it to my exact head shape and my hairline. Pretty much, I think the reason why people usually do the bow headed cap method is a way to protect your hairline and not even that. And also when you pluck your lace wig, it really does make the lace wig look as real as possible. It literally looks like it's coming out of your scalp. So that's, I, I'm, from my perspective, I believe that's the reason why people do the bald headed cap method. Okay, bosses, basically I'm just going in with my razor to just go ahead and take all the excess um, cap from there, making sure it kind of mimic my hairline. That's what you basically want to do. You're going to have to keep on tweaking it until you pretty much get the look and the desire bald headed cap method that you're going for. So pretty much that's really all I did. So I'm just gonna leave the clip here so you both just can watch how I kept on tweaking it. You just gotta keep on doing it and doing it. And then after that, I pretty much went into my got to be spreads like you saw in the previous clip. And then I pretty much went in with the got to be gel just to make sure that lays really flat, just how I like it. That's basically the trick. Okay, bosses. Okay, bosses, so I'm going ahead and using my foundation shade to kind of get this, the skin fleshy tone of my head because this is the ball headed cap method. And you have, you got to do this for the hair to look as natural as possible when it's going to lay down, bosses. I literally put that makeup all over, you feel me? And then I went in with my cap and just try to see like where it begins, where the line ends and everything. So what I went ahead and did first thing first was to cut my ear part out because I wanted to make sure that everything matched, okay? So it matched up perfect. Now we're gonna go into the glue. This is my first time using this glue. I actually purchased this glue from Amazon Prime and I will leave this glue listed down below for you bosses to go ahead and cop it. This glue is actually water resistant. So yeah, I literally went in the pool over the weekend after I shot this video. I went like the next day, I was in the pool with my friends and everything. And I'm telling you bosses, this glue my hair it did not move it did not move at all it stayed on okay so this glue is legit a go-to glue so if you want to know more about this glue check out the description below i will leave the link down so you guys can get this ball headed cap method on point and yeah bosses so what i pretty much did over there just comb as i laid my edges down i just pretty much comb through it to make sure none of my hair will get stuck with the glue whatever like that so you want to keep doing that and just keep combing it combing it combing it and combing it just making sure that's going to ensure that everything lays down and now i'm going to go in with my band that's going to definitely ensure that this hair is laid down to the t bosses look at me trying to do a middle part you bosses know me i'm not fond of middle part but i definitely wanted to do it in this video I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to do a middle part. That thing do not look like middle part. But eventually, bosses, I corrected my mistake because for some odd reason, like when you're looking into the camera, you cannot see your middle part properly. So I definitely had to go back in and literally redo the middle part because it was not working out. But overall, I went in with my hot comb and just combed this baby down. And I'm telling you, this hair... It's so easy to maneuver. It didn't even have a whole lot of like flyaways or anything like that. Everything was just on point. On point, on point. Everything just worked out really, really good. So that was really good. That was really that was really awesome, bosses. 
So moving on, so you guys can see the finishing so, look. Okay, bosses. So after the hair is pretty much laid, now I'm gonna take the band off and look at that edges looking real nice. I'm telling you, bosses, this hair is truly high quality. It is beautiful and it's just amazing. I love it soft. So I'm beginning to cut the lace off the wig now. I'm gonna go into my blades as well because it's more easier when you actually use the blades. So pretty much I like to start off with the scissors just to cut off the big edges and then go in with my blades bosses. It's really, really easy. As you bosses can see, there's a tad little bit of glue showing, but don't worry. We're gonna fix that bosses. This ball heading cap method is not an easy one, but it's definitely worth doing. And it definitely makes your hair look so realistic. Just by, when I say realistic, just imagine I did not even um, go ahead and bleach the knots and the, and the roots of my hair look so natural. That's the plus size to this hair. That's what I'm telling you. It's really amazing. And I definitely want you bosses to try this ball headed cap method. But yeah, bosses, whatever extra access part that lift up, don't be afraid to add some glue and then just so, go in okay, with bosses, the glue. That's how the hair looks. So for the access lace that's kind of like peeping through, I'm going to go in with the got to be spray and just try to jot that down and then go in with my blow dryer and make sure it's like really down. But in order to get that melted look, you have to remember to you got to put the band back on there. So basically when I'm done with this process, what I'm gonna do is pretty much go back into my black hairband um, elastic and just go ahead and put that all and just pretty much tie that down so we can melt the lace into your skin. And not to forget when you're done doing all this, when you're doing your makeup, make sure to blend your makeup in on that line. That's pretty much what really gives it that full effect of the ball headed cap method. So you definitely wanna go ahead and do that. I recommend y'all doing just that. But yeah, this is a beginner friendly. Let's get it. This is the finishing look of the hair bosses. Like literally, like I don't know if you bosses can see. Like I literally just slayed the shit out of this hair. No lie. Like look at it. It just looks amazing. And big shout out to my baby daddy for holding our baby today. Like I really like i'm not really fond of the ball headed cap method but i really wanted to try it but on camera it just seems very tedious and i just don't be having the energy but today i really wanted to do it and show you bosses how i slay this hair with the ball headed cap method and as you can see bosses my hair it don't move my hair it don't move like it's on fleek right now so big shout out to Rishon hair for this hair bosses if you bosses love the hair you love how this hair look with the ball headed cap method i suggest you go ahead to reshawnhair.com and get this hair and of course a discount code will be listed down below for you bosses this hair looks amazing very full bosses as you bosses already know but what do you bosses think about this whole hair like let me turn around and the glue that i use today is a glue that i've never used before i'm going to leave that down in my amazon account and it's going to be listed down below for you bosses and also bosses as you bosses saw in this video the ball headed cap method the cap that i use were from a different company i work with those companies and that's the cap that i always use to do my clients hair so i really wanted to show you bosses in this video i know i haven't done nothing like this for y'all i things are changing and everybody want to do things differently and i'm not going to lie to you not having baby hair in this cap and doing the ball headed cap method i feel really comfortable like i feel like i don't even need baby hair to to make myself look good it literally looked like my scalp and everything this reach on head is very much great quality no shedding no smell their hair are amazing bosses I just want to say shout out to Rishon here. Like this hair is dope.com. It does look like a middle part to you bosses out there. Comment down below if you love the hair and you love the ball headed cat method. And comment down below if you want to see more of the ball headed cat method. I'm up to doing it, but like I stated to you bosses, 
I'm a new mother and it's really difficult to get in the studio and do all these stuff. Mind you, this video took me damn well three hours. Now I gotta crank this video down to like probably nine minutes video. So yeah, there you go. Three hours worth of video, hair and makeup without even on the camera. Okay bosses, enough chatting, enough chatting. I just wanna say, Thank you bosses so much to all my new audience and new subscriber thank you for joining the boss squad i really really do appreciate you bosses please share this video share my videos with your peers do subscribe to the youtube channel do turn your notification button on just want to say thank you bosses so much god bless bye bye